guys welcome back to our channel it's me Madeline and Steven and today I am going to be talking to you guys well I guess we are I'm probably gonna do a majority of the talking but we're gonna be talking about our wedding planning process and what we have been doing before we start the video I just want to let you know I'm a little sick I'm a little on the sick side I have tonsillitis I'm no self he does not I do because I had it last time and this is exactly what it felt like and then the symptoms are the exact same I have ear pain my throat pain I'm telling you, I have tonsillitis. It's a thing. Look it up. Okay, well, moral of the story is he's probably not going to be talking a lot because his throat does not feel the greatest, but he is going to butt in occasionally. If you want to see the funny side of me, watch, of our, watch some of our other videos. I have been planning this wedding by myself. I do not have a wedding planner. It is just me. I did get a date of coordinator, but I'll get into that in a second for the bulk of everything I have been doing it myself which is pretty dang stressful considering I well now I'm 22 was 21 in college and doing YouTube for full time but somehow I have managed to get a lot of this <coughs> Somehow I have managed to get a lot of this together. So I'm going to give you guys kind of my tips and tricks. And then I also got questions on my Instagram from you guys that you wanted to know. For starter, Steven and I got engaged in May of 2019. What day? May 31st. So basically kind of June, but it is now February, no, it is March actually. And we have just hit our marker to where we're only double digits away. 98 days away. To our wedding. <laughs> and y'all don't understand how much that like makes my heart sink. But I am super excited. Why does it make your heart sink? Because I feel like I don't have anything done. Y'all, I have been stressed because, yeah. I've been playing Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> you really have not done a lot. But well, I don't I'd think you're expected ex to. Explain why I'm not doing a lot. I'm not cut out for the job. I'm really not. <laughs> I shouldn't be hired to do any wedding stuff and yeah. that's that's the tea that's the truth let me first start off with i have never like really been that type of girl that has planned their wedding i honestly did not know a bunch of things about wedding stuff i knew what a maid of honor was i knew what bridesmaids were obviously but i didn't know like an officiate which i figured that out really quickly what is that that's the guy who's gonna marry us. Oh, okay. Like I didn't know a lot of things, so I had to do a bunch of research and what I ended up doing was watched YouTube videos and I will link a girl down below. I can't think of her name right now, but I've watched so many of her videos, you guys. She is awesome. Oh, Jamie. I think her name's Jamie, but I will list her down below in the description. You guys should definitely binge watch those. That's what I did for the first like month of us being engaged. And that's kind of how I was figuring out if I wanted to do an indoor wedding, an outdoor, wedding if we just wanted to elope I was kind of get weighing out all my options because she is actually a wedding planner and she does these videos for free so I'm really thankful for that but our first thing that we needed to figure out was what type of wedding do we want to have so indoor outdoor destination or elope elope was out of our question because we definitely want to have a wedding video for you guys I guess we could have kind of done that and just kind of like surprised you and be like we're married but I think your wedding type like you want to have a wedding right Right? Yeah. So we didn't want to do destination because we wanted as much of, of our family as possible, family and friends to be there. Indoor, we're not opposed to. Outdoor, I really wanted. Did you want outdoor too? Yeah. Outdoor is what we decided on. So we're having an outdoor wedding. It's kind of like an outdoor indoor kind of thing though. Yeah, it is. Our first thing on the list was to find a venue. And we went to two different venues and fell in love with the second one. I absolutely love it. On site is where the reception area is and also the ceremony. Those are two words I didn't really know the difference between either. So a ceremony is where we actually get married. Everyone's sitting in the chairs or whatever and watch us do our vows and whatnot. And then the reception is basically the party after you get married. So I would had to learn those terms too. And what's really nice about the venue that we chose was that's on site. You literally just walk a couple feet and then you're in the reception hall but what's really cool is that if it rains you can get <laughs> married on the inside in a chapel yeah so they actually have been okay. building a chapel you got it i, was, <laughs> I, I put was you on the sure. spot I, was, I, I can remember <laughs> yeah so they actually have a chapel <laughs> that is a backup plan so if it does rain we can get married in there which is really nice because I feel like I'd be stressed out if that was not a thing and then our next thing was we had to figure out a videographer and a photographer since we do YouTube we want to like share with you guys our wedding video my main 
concern was a videographer. I wanted high quality. I still want high quality. So we tried to find like the perfect person to do this. Madeline's mom's friend actually does like video production stuff like weddings. And, and so we decided to go with him because he has the right equipment. He's very experienced. Like how many years has he done this? Like, like 10. I was about to say like 20. I don't know, oh. <laughs> but I don't know. I just really wanted like a high quality mm -hmm. video for you guys. Dude, I sound like I'm going to die. You really do. <clears throat> so I won't make you talk anymore. <laughs> no, I can, I can still talk. Our videographer was very important because as you guys can see, we do YouTube for our job and a bunch of you guys have been watching our story and we want y'all to see us get married in the best video possible. I love his videos and especially him being a family friend makes it even better because I know he's not gonna like screw us over. <laughs> and he's not gonna feel uncomfortable there. Yeah, exactly. I guess I probably should have said actually the first thing on our list was to set a budget. Mm -hmm. Thankfully to my parents, they are actually paying for our like ceremony wedding-ish and reception. Steven's parents are doing the rehearsal dinner cause that's like the typical what you're supposed to do. So that was our first thing was to set a budget. So our budget is actually $15,000. And I mean, it's feasible. It sounds like that's a lot of money. And but to some people, it sounds like it's not enough. That's like on the cheaper side. Like yeah, weddings can get up there. It is ridiculous, but we're sticking to a $15,000 budget and I don't think we're gonna go over. I don't think we will either. Because I've been doing a lot of stuff on my own, which I will get into. I'm so sorry, this video is gonna be all over the place. I definitely should have done like a checklist, but budget number one, then we found a venue, videographer, then photographer, which is Callie. She also did our engagement photos. We loved them, so obviously we want her to be our photographer. And she's a friend. I feel like it won't be like as awkward or whatever. So those were the main things on our list that we had to check off immediately, especially because people book up fast especially for summer weddings. But I have heard that actually fall has become the new summer. So if you're having a fall wedding, you definitely have to book this stuff year, like a year in advance. That's what we had to do. But now it's, it's crazy how you have to book a venue a year in advance yeah. or a videographer a year in advance. And depending on your videographers and stuff, there's like half payments and whatnot. So it's not like you're paying all in full. Next was to get save the dates out. I didn't think I was gonna do save the dates just because I felt like that was another cost to do, but I made them very inexpensively. Should I go get that? Yeah. There's a bunch of websites that I will link down below that are awesome that you guys should definitely use. For the save the dates, I didn't really care much. I wanted to spend more time on our actual invitations, which I'll show you in a second. What I did was used one of our engagement photos and actually got them printed at Walmart for very inexpensive. I think I did like 75 of them. You did a bunch. Yeah, for like $12. Like that's super inexpensive. And then I got some white cardstock just to make it a little bit thicker and more uh, premium. What's the word? Premium feeling, I guess. More expensive feeling. Yeah. <laughs> and I put actually two pieces of cardstock together, but you don't really have to do that. If you get like one heavy duty cardstock, you should be good. And I just glued it on there and then I used little magnet strips that I found. It was just like this circle thing and I just cut the strips and glued them on the back. Are they very aesthetically pleasing? Not really. Did they get the job done? Yes. Saved a lot of money by doing that. And then for envelopes, I obviously don't have any right now. I used the website minted.com, which helped my hand tremendously. Not I didn't. Sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to hand write or anything. I'll leave a link down below to that as well. All you have to do is basically put in addresses on their address assistant, I think is what it's called. <laughs> And they literally print the envelopes for you and everything's already on the envelope. All you have to do is put a stamp on it. And ship it out. Yeah, and put the invitation in there. <laughs> that has saved my life. I'm actually about to do that again for our invitations. I also have a Cricut machine. That is another thing that if you don't have and you like crafts, you should definitely get one if you're planning on doing your invitations yourself. And I have the Explore Air 2 and I have been making our invitations myself, which I feel like has saved us a lot of money actually. It's a lot of time and a labor of love, but I have loved every second of it. I definitely wanna do a video on my main channel of me making it because I'm trying to transform that channel into a craft channel. The base of what I have so far, they are in no way completed yet. But what I did was instead of buying a template, I think you can buy some on Minted 
or just websites like that in general already pre-made, invitations can come out to be like $400. I'm not kidding you. It's know it's ridiculous, you guys, especially if we needed 100. What I did was I went on pickmonkey.com and designed my own invitation looking thing. I have obviously the address and stuff covered up right now. But this is what I just designed. It's very basic and simple. And I had it printed on, I think, vistaprint.com on this like really nice card stock. And I had made this little jacket thing with my Cricut machine. I bought the card, the brown part on Etsy. And I will link it down below if you like it. But basically it's called the gatefold card and it looks like that. And then you open it up and there's the invitation. I am going to be doing a belly band around it. And then also I'm going to have RSVP cards inside. I just haven't got to that point yet. Um, I need to send those out within a month. That is our invitation. I'm saving a lot of money by doing it myself and I'm pretty proud of it. I love them so far and I hope you guys do too. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But like I said, I will have a belly band around it and also some RSVP cards inside. Next is our wedding cake situation. I didn't even know if I wanted a wedding cake. I Not, know. Yeah. She just basically said she doesn't want to like spend a lot on a wedding cake, which I don't mind. Wedding cakes but. cost like $600 and I do not have that in my budget. So I'd rather spend that on our videographer or something. Yeah. <laughs> not on a cake that people might not even eat, you know? Anyway, so you can talk about yeah. the cake. Right now you guys are seeing some clips of us actually going to taste test cake. We were actually going to film that for a YouTube video, but I brought the lens that we're using right now and it was like super shaky. So it was basically unusable footage. We didn't realize <laughs> that the lens did that until we went to go edit the footage so we know this is a lens for sit down videos yes. like this not these kind of videos which kind of suck but we are keeping that footage for us in the future we have a hard drive that we have all our videos on we're going with this lady her like brand is called like creative chaos and it's she makes some awesome cakes she really some does amazing cakes and so. i love her personality she's really cool she's mm -hmm. really like she's a really genuine person i don't know if we're going to use her for our actual like wedding cake cake the white one or whatever um, i'm still on the fence about that but we are for sure using her for steven's groom's cake which what we're doing is just a plain white cake with a camera on top because that kind of symbolizes steven and i think she quoted me at like 120 dollars, which is really freaking good for that type of cake but for our actual wedding cake walmart has it going on for real you can get a cake that feeds like 130 people for like a hundred dollars which is insane and i don't mind because i don't think anybody's gonna really be like oh my gosh this is a walmart cake <laughs> like if you don't tell them they won't know they'll think it's a luxury wedding cake you know and actually most of the people that are going to the wedding probably aren't even watching this video so they will never know i'm not totally sure if we're going to be doing that but you guys if you're planning a wedding on a budget definitely check out walmart because i went into their uh, bakery area and they had awesome wedding cakes they in had their like little a, portfolio. Yeah, I was about to say, they have like a book with like a wedding cake section. Yes, and you can customize it, you guys, like no other. I am so excited. I need to actually go talk to them and figure out when I need to like place my order and everything. Super inexpensive, and I mean, it's cake. The only downside is that they have like only specific flavors. You can't do like the crazy cookies and cream and chocolate peanut butter or whatever. I don't really think that matters because again, I don't know if people are really going to eat the cake. Mm. And I'm not really a cake person. So what originally I had said I wanted to do was a dessert bar rather than the like traditional big wedding cake. But we were gonna have one for us to do the cake cutting. But I think we are gonna go with a big traditional cake and then a groom's cake. So I feel like that's another like big part of it is that oh. I forgot to talk about my dress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so excited for my dress. Obviously, Steven hasn't seen it yet. I am so in love with it, and I cannot wait to wear it. I say that, like, every day. I'm like, I can't wait to wear my wedding dress. She's I like, <laughs> she's like, can I just, you just want to see it? And I'm like, no. I don't <laughs> want to see it I would obviously right not show you. I saved mega on my dress. I really did. So, I'm kind of, I would say my body's, like, on the petite side. So I actually went to a prom dress store 
and I got my wedding dress for $600, baby. It doesn't even look like a prom dress because I got it like all in white or whatever. You guys think that's like <laughs> super cheap for her dress? Wait until you guys hear about how much I spent on my custom suit. Oh yeah, okay. People spend like $5,000 on a dress. I got a brand deal for my bridesmaid dresses and I know that's not like really possible for a lot of you guys, but they do have really awesome dresses like uh, material wise and price wise. It's called JJ's House. If you guys want to look into them, I'll link them down below. They have really nice dresses and I love every single one that came in for my bridesmaids. If y'all want a further in-depth review of that, I will link a video that's on my main channel of me like showing off the dresses and talking about them. Also, speaking of wedding dresses you can get wedding dresses on JJ's house as well I have a separate video on that where I try on dresses from there that are like $200 or less they were really nice dresses too since Madeline has six bridesmaids I have six groomsmen so I was trying to find a place to like get a brand deal for my suit and my guys suits or tuxes or whatever I was emailing 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 I couldn't really get anything back then I went to men's warehouse and I was emailing this lady and she said like she just gave me like an awesome deal not sponsored we didn't get like sponsored anything but mm -mm. she did give us like a $500 gift gift discount I, <laughs> she gave us a $500 discount on my suit a custom suit a custom suit I spent $87 on a custom suit. And it's super cute because it has our date on I can, the inside like, of his pocket. I customized everything on it. And then on top of that, since we had a bunch of like groomsmen, they gave me $100 off each groomsman rental. So basically all my guys have to do now is pay like a twenty dollar fee like a like a deposit fee mm -hmm. and that's it like we got a really good deal and i actually think they do that for a lot of people regardless of if you do social media yeah yeah um because of i remember being in there and somebody else was talking about that deal yeah to somebody else i don't think it's normally five hundred dollars on a custom suit yeah because the guys were like the guys whenever i went to men's warehouse they were like they said they give you a five hundred dollar get like discount and i said Yes. It's normally 300 which is still really good for yeah. a custom suit. If you guys don't know, those range around like $600. But they do give discounts to people who don't do social media. We're not sponsored by them right. at all. Uh, but it was really nice to get that money off again. Trying to get within that budget, baby. For his guys, we're doing... They're not going to be wearing like the actual jackets because it's going to be outdoor in the middle of summer. We don't want them to be dying. Steven, I think, is going to be wearing his coat for the actual ceremony just so he's kind of a little bit different. Afterwards, I'm going to be taking the jacket off and then like having the vest yeah. under it. So the next thing is flowers. I could be talking about this forever and ever. I might have to do like another video or something. I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in that. If you're still watching, please let us know if you want more. <laughs> Comment the word pineapple, pineapple down below if you want me to talk more about this because I could talk for ages anyway. And I actually asked you guys questions and I don't even think I'm going to get to those questions. <laughs> I didn't realize I had a lot to say. So the next big thing was flowers. You guys, I cannot just justify spending $1,500 on something that's just gonna die and you can't really reuse it afterwards. Luckily, you guys have me in this awesome position where I can get brand deals and I've been talking with a company called Sola Wood Flowers. Absolutely love them. They are giving me some flowers. I don't have them yet, but they are doing my bouquet, my bridesmaids bouquets, and also a centerpiece for like our Mrs. and Mr. table. That's really awesome because Sola Wood Flowers, if you don't know what wood flowers are, it's basically a flower that never dies. Like you can have it at the wedding and then have it in your house for the rest of your life. And that's what I really love about it is that I can keep it and I can remember our day forever rather than a flower that I have to press or put it in a book you know even if I had to pay for them I would still do it this route because it actually comes out to be cheaper and it's another DIY project let me talk about DIYs really quick don't put too much on your plate that you cannot handle because right now all I'm doing is invitations and I still have to do all of my bridesmaids gifts because I have a cricket machine like I mentioned. I'm actually on a bunch of Facebook pages. That's another thing you need to do. <laughs> yes. Okay, finish what you're about to say and then go on because... 
Okay, don't bombard yourself with a bunch of DIYs because it's gonna stress you out even more. If there are ways that you can shortcut things, go ahead and do that. Don't stress yourself out by thinking, I need to DIY this. Like I'm about to start signs soon. So like our unplugged ceremony sign or our love is sweet sign that's gonna go next to our cake. I'm about to start those. But right now all I have been doing is imitations and I still have to do a bunch of other things and it's kind of like starting to, uh, like I don't have that done yet, but I think I, I will have time, especially because it's spring break, so I'm gonna try and get like a jump start on all of that. Another tip to you guys is I think you need to join Facebook groups. I am in a, a wedding planning Facebook group and then also a cricket, all things cricket wedding group where they put all their ideas in there or you can post a picture and say, what do I need to change on this? and then they'll fix it. Just things like that. It's really awesome to have that type of support group who are also going through the same stresses as you right now. And if you have questions about who should I invite to my wedding or officiates or whatever, especially if you find one in your area, you can find a bunch of vendors on there. That's what I did. You can find flower places just get in Facebook groups around your area and it'll be a lot of help because it's not like you're having to do Google searches on everything. And people will be honest on there about their reviews on some places. Another big thing is a DJ. I didn't think I wanted a DJ, honestly. I thought that it was just gonna be an extra cost for not a big thing. But my mom said that is her one request. She said, I don't care what else you do in your wedding, I want a DJ. And I agree now that I've kind of like seen weddings without a DJ and weddings with a DJ. And I want my guests to have fun. I wasn't really thinking, I'm not a really big dancer type of person, but I know some people in my family are. And I just think it would be fun for them. Also, we're not doing alcohol. Like we're not doing a big open bar and I think that's another way to cut your costs down because if you had to pay that bar tab, hmm, that's a lot of money. I, I think we'll have beer though, but we're not gonna have like a bartender with like- Oh, they're like, like a hard, vodka like, li like liquor. Yeah, Steven's not even 21, so. <laughs> but in the state of Texas, I can drink with her if we're married. Okay, Why, anyway. why else do you think I'm doing this? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Anyways, so we are gonna have some wine options and some beer options, but we're not gonna do hard liquor. First off, I don't want people driving and getting super oh, yeah. plastered, and I don't want that bar tab. I know people are gonna be like, no alcohol? We're having alcohol. It's just not gonna be the hard stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's gonna really cut our budget down a lot because some people spend like $6,000 just on alcohol, open bars. It's crazy, because you have to pay the bartender too, and those are usually like over $100 an hour. Mm-hmm, plus tip and you guys, it is insane. That's another way that we are cutting the cost down, but we are having a DJ per my mom's request. The last big purchase on our list was food. We're gonna have like, we plan on having like 170 people there or something like that. About 200, but I think. Not everybody's gonna come, obviously. So we actually have a family friend who was awesome enough to to offer this to us. He's he's like an amazing cook. He he has like a smoker and everything, and we're just gonna do like a huge buffet thing. He offered to cook for the entire wedding at the cost of we pay like we pay for the food and not and he cooks it. Yeah, not like servants, which we'll give him a tip and stuff like we will. that, you guys. But he has definitely given us an awesome price on food. And we wanted to do buffet style because, again, that's cutting the cost of not having to hire servants to go to a certain table. Servants? And, well, that's what they're called. I thought they were servers. Oh, servers. <laughs> servants. <laughs> servers. <laughs> Sorry, because that's another cost. Like, you're going to have to pay people to take it to... Um, Steven at table two at this spot, you know, and we're doing a buffet. Our wedding's gonna be really laid back, you guys. Like, Steven and his groomsmen are literally wearing vans. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, we're just wearing vans. It's gonna be very laid back. It's gonna be in the summer. We don't want people having to wear tuxes outside and it's gonna be whatnot. Super hot. That's kind of why we're doing a buffet, is because, again, it's gonna be laid back. I didn't want a formal dinner, I didn't want a four course meal, which super expensive, probably $35 a plate. So we're doing a barbecue type, Texas barbecue thing. Um, we like that type of food and everyone's from Texas basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. So 
so far that is our plans I'm sure a lot of stuff will come up I hope you guys enjoyed this I did have questions screenshotted but this video is already gonna be like 20 minutes long and I apologize for that maybe I can do another Q&A of questions that I did not answer in the near future that's where we are currently the wedding is about to happen soon and we wish you all could be there we really do but money is a thing and we don't got a lot of it <laughs> so um, we're trying to save for a house out here yeah we are trying to save for a house my concluding thoughts to you guys is ask family and friends around if there's things that they could do Ooh. okay nope other video i'm gonna do a whole nother video this was just I'll do an advice video. How about that? This was more of a video of what we are doing and what our plan is so far. There's probably a bunch of stuff that we left out, you guys. Next video, I will have a plan. Stay tuned for possibly another video. It might be on my channel because I don't know if Steven will want to sit through another nope, <laughs> video of me talking. <laughs> I've been doing the wedding planning on my own, so he's not really part of it. Yeah, <laughs> I right. am asking him questions though and asking him if stuff is okay. We're gonna go so I hope you guys enjoyed this and hearing about our wedding plans and what we are currently doing. It's been stressful but that stress is almost to an end and I'm super excited to be his wife. Thank you again to my parents for paying for our ceremony and reception. I obviously would not be able to have this dream wedding without you guys and you guys probably wouldn't get the awesome footage and stuff of the wedding if it wasn't for them. So thank you, mom and dad. I appreciate you guys so freaking much. You have no idea, but I am saving them a lot of money by using my Cricut machine. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of use out of that, have I not? At first I was like, oh my God, am I really spending $300 on this thing? But I've used it a lot. Thank you to my parents for doing the rehearsal dinner and paying for that and also paying for this other thing that I can't talk about yet because my guys <laughs> don't know. So thank you for that. Yes. Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron and David. All right, you guys. So we're going to go. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. And for those who wanted to watch this, thank you for sticking around. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know. And I will try to do a second video, possibly on my main channel. That will be linked as well. There's going to be a lot of stuff down there. So make sure to check it out. And with that all being said, we hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever watching this. And we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.